Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. On Sunday, I went to church. It was quite a good uh, uh, talk. And um, then I decided to, to go up the way to a place more out in the country to visit and just visit the various holy places I knew there and uh, offer what blessing I could, which is something I do fairly frequently. So the last place that I got to, I had uh, a bunch of adverse omens first. See, how did it go? I was going towards a coffee shop on my way to get there, and a man came out of the lot as I turned in, and I heard a voice say from, I think, from the driver of the car, or through the driver of the car, the voice said, don't go to that place like that. And I'm going, well, do I dare or do I not? You know, so I went to get my coffee. And so I thought I'd take the coffee while I was driving the last leg of the journey. So, but the lid was not on the coffee. So I set it down on a shelf and I put, tried to put the plastic lid on and it spilt. And so I wiped up where it spilt on the counter and on the shelves and on the products and so forth. And so that was a second omen because I never spill coffee, almost never. So then I thought, I'll just put the, the lid on very carefully. So I started to put it on very carefully and half the cup fell out. And then the man from the counter noticed the to-do and he came over and cleaned up everything. <laughs> so that was the third omen. And so then I thought, well, I'll take the coffee out on the curb and set it on the curb and put the, the lid on it. You know? And when I did that, there was no problem. I put it on. So there were three omens, but not like horrible omens. So I thought I'd give it a try, right? So I was driving up, up the driveway of this holy place that I visit once in a while, and there were omens everywhere. And bad omens, not good omens. Uh, uh, an increasing danger to life and limb kind of omens, right? So... I got as far as the place where I usually park, and I got out of the car, and I noticed behind me three workmen uh, whose bodies of lights were semi-dark, but not completely dark, and uh, digging nearby. They were digging the topsoil and the um, uh, plants off of the ground nearby, behind a cover of trees right beside the parking lot. Uh, so I looked for demons there. There were no demons on them. You know how it is sometimes when there's a dark attack. It can be very dramatic. Very rare, but very dramatic. And it seemed unlikely because there were no solar events going on and so forth. It just didn't make a lot of sense. So, getting to the good part here. The omens were such and that I felt it unsafe to leave my car unattended, even though there were no other cars around. So I looked around the parking lot, as I do sometimes, for signs on the ground, leaves uh, as omens, and took a bunch of pictures. You can see the pictures. You can see what you can see from those pictures. And while I was doing that, I heard a voice from above my head say, I don't want to be the one to go down there. A, a menacing voice, right? So that's the fourth omen, right? So now I'm definite. I'm not going any farther than the parking lot right beside my car, and I'm keeping an eye on the three workmen. So then a wind came up from my right side uh, where the road went on, and on the wind were the 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 voices of 150 demons. Now this 150 demon thing has happened two times before in my life and so it happened again on Sunday and I used a command to send them off. I said Spirit to Team Team to Galactic High Command Encapsulate Read them their rights by Cosmic Sovereign Law for the all, through free will. And then I heard 
on the wind that came up, I heard the howling of 150 demons, would you believe it? Howling and running off through the air in the other direction. That's the way it happened, so. I guess those are pretty good words to use if we feel overwhelmed by bad omens or dark omens or like that. Even if we can't see the demon horde, even if we can't feel the army of the night around us, we can still say the words and clear the air. So that's all for now. Talk to you guys later. Love you lots. You're the terrific ones. Take care.